Hello? Hello? Are you awake now? Yeah. Hi guys and welcome back to Motherhood by me, Money Mondays. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to financially survive during a pandemic. Obviously, this is a little bit late. Um, but you know, it is never too late. You can always make these changes in your life. And again, as usual, I can't really shout because my son is literally like sleeping in right here next to me. You can probably hear him snoring a little bit, but we do what we gotta do. So I'm just gonna get in. So the first one is find a way to increase your income. Because in this day and age, we can't be relying on one income. Even if you're like a single person on your own, it doesn't hurt to increase your income and um, I actually have a video on how to increase your income that I did so feel free to go have a look at that and the second one is having an emergency fund um, an emergency fund is very important whether there's a pandemic or not I feel like an emergency fund is something that we really need to have and it is advised to have three months worth so this is more like for your bills and your rent and your face shopping, something that are like necessities, not including savings, just like emergency fund where you, if you didn't have a job for three months, you can still pay your bills, rent and savings. And it's very important. And my little one is just waking up. Hello, Papa. And the third one is moving in with friends or family. Um, obviously in this pandemic you can you can just like move in with someone and be living with them and this will actually help you financially because obviously you don't have to pay rent for a separate place if you pay bills council tax you don't have to pay those for a separate place even if you have to pay rent where you're staying chances are the costs are much lower and it will help you in the long run and the next one is using um coupons or discount codes now it's like it just depends where you're shopping or you want to buy sometimes you can go on the particular website and they may offer um coupons or discounts sometimes just type in google let's say you want to buy from amazon or i'm always giving talking about amazon or let's say i'll give an example of lidl you can just put on google and search it and usually something will pop up if the company itself don't provide um vouchers because i have this app this little app when, where they provide like vouchers and discount codes and you know all these things or if you've got like if you're collecting points let's say you've got boots points like feel free to use and collect those and number five is um if you're struggling with bills with the rent don't just bury your head in the sand if you feel like you can't really get help from family or friends contact the companies um companies will usually prefer it if you contact them and explain to them your situation rather than you ignoring your situation and hoping it'll go away just call them and for the most part most companies obviously they know what's happening with the pandemic they'll already know like some people will struggle so most of them when you call them they'll kind of understand because it is a global pandemic after all um and then you can just discuss with them what you can and can do but obviously like they're not gonna like cancel your the money that you owe you will have to pay them eventually but at least maybe your monthly costs can be reduced let's say you pay 120 a month maybe you can agree for you to be paying 80 pound a month and i'm pretty sure that 40 pound will help a little bit even like if you're struggling to pay rent um depending on your landlord obviously some landlords are a nightmare some are very nice and understanding but just depending just contact your landlord and explain to the situation but like again like i've said it doesn't mean that you're not going to pay them you 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 will have to pay them at a later time but just sort of give yourself time especially maybe when you're trying to increase your income trying to find another job you know most people understand with what's going on now having said that it's not every company that's going to be understanding some companies just do demand their money so you just have to like sift through and see which company will actually help your situation avoid unnecessary spending like if you're struggling during the pandemic and maybe your life before the pandemic was kind of luxurious like i really hate to break it to you if you have not done this by now you have to let go of little unnecessary things let's say you love wearing makeup and you already have a good amount of makeup but there's a new i don't know because i'm not really into makeup so i don't know but maybe there's a new um foundation or concealer or whatever that's out and you want to go get it like do you really need it if you already have a collection of makeup like do you really need to order takeaway you just 
just cook at home like obviously i'm guilty of ordering takeaway every now and again but i'm just starting to tell myself like it's very unnecessary like you can order for like a special occasion otherwise just get on with it and cook so just avoid unnecessary things buying unnecessarily like buying yourself clothes unnecessarily i mean if you're trying to treat yourself as a one-off that's fair enough but for the most part i would just avoid buying things that you genuinely don't need and this next one is uh don't be afraid to ask for help at this point or even just before the pandemic but more so now like everybody needs help you know nobody's ever in the like the most perfect situation ask help from your family from your friends um i don't know from companies talk to someone and things will get better just don't just sit there idle and hope things will get better be active do your research you know you can just simply go to google and type in how to you know what you can do what you're looking for like if you're looking for another job like you have to be active you have to be proactive you can't just sit back and let things happen you have to get out there put yourself out there something else you could do is upcycling which is kind of like recycling but upcycling like, take something that's so if you want to buy something instead of spending i don't know 200 pounds on that um brand new item you could spend maybe 20 30 pounds on something and then maybe another 20 30 pounds on material that's 60 pounds compared to the 200 pounds you were going to spend and glam it up upcycle it and make it look good you know paint it i don't know decorate it and keep it for yourself or you could even sell it for 200 pounds if it looks good enough and you could have made a, you could have made a profit so there's literally so many things you could do it's just a matter of looking at your strengths and using them to your advantage so that's pretty much the end of this video feel free to leave me a comment down below on how you're doing during this pandemic and i'll see you in my next one bye Bye.